Oh boy. Today has been a wild day. Uh, before we get to the truck that I'm going to review, uh, I got some diecast news for you guys. Um, so, um, uh, someone, uh, someone went to, I think it's Spin Master headquarters and they showed some prototypes of some stuff coming out. Um, they revealed the prototype of the yellow zombie. It's official. We are getting the female zombie from world, from the world finals encore. So it's going to have the arm in the mouth. It's going to have the big ponytail in the back. The, I think it's going to have like the pedicure that the real truck had and the eyelashes. So that's going to be cool. And then, uh, and I think they revealed some trucks that are coming out in double packs. Like, uh, I think there's like a, so in future, so in this double pack series, I think it's coming up soon. It's not thematic or anything, but in the main series, they've been hinting towards some like concrete elemental trucks. Like, uh, Jurassic Attack was revealed a long time ago. The ones that were revealed in the, in the prototype shelf were like El Toro Loco and Whiplash, I believe. Um, and then, uh, and then, uh, Nightmare was revealed. It's on the horsepower casting, uh, things like that. Um, oh my goodness. So many, so many trucks revealed. And then today, uh, we got a new truck revealed. It's going to be coming out in case J for Hot Wheels monster trucks. It is a motorcycle chopper inspired truck it's got two wheels in the back and one single wheel in the front so it's supposed to be like i want to say it's like those three wheel motorcycles or motorbikes whatever you call them uh the way it's designed it kind of looks like a bmx bike but um oh lord it looks it looks insane the name the name they gave it is called try to crush me so it's I don't know, a play on words, but uh, if you check out my Instagram, I posted a picture of it. Oh my God, it looks crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, that's the little diecast news. And uh, if you guys want to, and I did also post on my Instagram the uh, Spin Master prototypes that they revealed at headquarters, uh, if you want to check that out. But here is the truck that I'm unboxing. I uh, got it from, uh, I ordered it on eBay because uh, this one is actually rare. And not only that, you know, I ordered, reason why I ordered the trucks from KSF is because my stores have been very crappy lately. And uh, uh, just not a lot of new trucks have been showing up uh, for singles packs wise. I mean, I've been able to find, I mean, the double packs, I double packs, I can find no problem for Hot Wheels, but other otherwise... I don't know. My stores have been kind of dry. Hopefully, hopefully next month uh, I should be finding uh, stuff easy again. I mean, Case G came out for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks and then Mix 23 for Spin Master. So anyway, let's get to the review. So, uh, so I mentioned this truck that I have in my hands is a chase piece and it is the Treasure Hunt Samson 1 Monster Truck. I'm just blown away that Hot Wheels did this because, you know, for for a long time, I didn't think they were going to do other independent trucks. I mean, I thought it was just going to be Bigfoot and Snakebite. But no, they're just stepping into the world of other independent trucks. And uh, I guess they're going to do classic trucks from the 80s. So, yeah, this thing looks awesome. So I'm going to unbox this right now for you guys. Okay, so obviously the accessory for this year is those like weird connecting crash cars. I'll be honest, I do not like this accessory. Uh, it's it's pretty useless in my opinion, but meh. What's that door? Anyway, so let's get to the review. Sorry, I apologize for my dog barking. Uh, my dog just barks at literally anything. All right, so it's got that weird rivet chassis. Um, a lot of people don't really like this chassis. I I think it's a weird chassis, so I don't know why they went with it. But yeah, let's, and then, but yeah. Anyway, let's get to the in-depth graphics review. So you got the Monstrux logo, the Hot Wheels logo. 
Obviously, it's a treasure hunt, so it's got the iconic treasure hunt logo. Uh, it says Samson 1, and it shows Samson... Oh, oh gosh, I'm sorry. And it shows Samson himself uh, pushing down uh, uh, the building that he was imprisoned in. Uh, so I think the original owner of Samson was a Christian. So, uh, and I'm a Christian myself. So this is actually a scene from the Bible because uh, Samson was put into prison by the Philistines. And Samson originally lost his strength, but he got his strength back uh, from answering, from, from, uh, receive, from, from, uh, answering a pr from receiving a answer to his prayers from God. So yeah, um, and this is the first ever Samson truck that they created, so that's why it's called Samson One. Uh, nothing on the bumper. Uh, basically, this is the same casting as the '83 Silverado. Uh, I reviewed that. Um, go check it out. Um, and yeah, on the hood, it shows. Uh, the, it shows Samson again pushing down the, uh, knocking down the building that he was imprisoned in. Um, and then it says Samson 1. Uh, the base color is a red paint paint job. Uh, you got the Chevy logo on the little uh, bed there. And then it's got the little lights as if, as if this would be an off-road vehicle. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then the flag shows, uh, has the Samson 1 logo, and then the picture of Samson again. Uh, monster trucks on this side, and then same thing on this side as the, was the other side. And it's got a red roll cage, a chrome chassis, uh, white rims, and the signature red line tires, uh, since this is a treasure hunt. And yeah, that's basically all you can review for the Samson 1 monster truck. This thing, this thing is gorgeous, and uh, I mean, I I can't believe Hot Wheels remade this because I remember this was originally uh, made in the Monster Jam Hot Wheels Monster Jam line for that Then and Now series. Uh, I would like to get the Monster Jam, the Hot Wheels Monster Jam Samson one, but uh, I hear it's quite rare, and it and it goes and it goes for like a whopping a hundred bucks on eBay. Uh, who knows hopefully i'll find it for cheap uh one day or uh maybe someone can hook me up with with one and be willing to give me one for free or whatever but yeah for now i'm happy with this version of the samson one oh my goodness i'm so happy to finally have it in my hands and in my collection it will also debut in Slime series 52 so look forward to that and yeah that's it for this review please like subscribe and please like subscribe and comment Ring the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.